the second topic that we are going to take today is flag code of india what is flag code of india a question i will ask in the very beginning is flag code a law under article 13 and we will be answering this question in the end the question is the question is is flag code a law under article 13 now article 13 see article 12 define state article 12 take a fundamental rights these are very very important articles for the upsc exam article 12 defines state okay article 13 talks about what are the laws as to be tested on the altar of fundamental rights what is a law is the question here arises is a flag code a law under article 13 and we will be answering that in the end let's talk about why we are talking about flag code recently her uh, prime minister modi has uh, announced that a scheme will be started har ghar tiranga har ghar tiranga scheme will be started by the government of india under which people will be allowed to host basically people will be encouraged to host the tricolor whenever i say tricolor that means national flag tricolor is an alias for national flag it is an alias for national flag so the aim is the har ghar, har ghar tiranga uh, uh, that, that the prime minister is promoting is a scheme that will allow every person in uh, of the every private person to host a tricolor or national flag between 13 and 15th of the august and people will be encouraged to host a tricolor between 13th and 15th of august in their homes okay so let's see what is a flag code and it how it has been changed recently and what are the changes that have been brought for the felicitation of facilitation of this har ghar tiranga let's look at that this is the flag of india okay it has a ashok chakra a saffron stripe and a green stripe a white stri stripe in the mid a saffron stripe on the top and a green stripe on the bottom okay so this is the flag of india i hope everyone knows that okay one important point about flag of India, the flag of India should always be rectangular. It cannot be square. Fine. And the ratio of length to breadth should be 3 is to 2. Okay. Let's get back. Flag of India. First of all, let's look at the basic properties of flag of India. The national flag of India was adopted. This point can come as a prelims question. Because these points which usually people ignore or try not to get into are the favorite points of UPSC, these darker grey shades. Okay. The national flag of India was adopted in its present form on by the constituent assembly. It was not adopted directly by the parliament of India. It was firstly adopted by the constitutional assembly of India on 22nd July 1947. 22nd july okay so what what is the date today it is 30th of the july okay now it was ad ad adopted on 22nd of july 1947 after the adoption of what happened was ki, uh, it was adopted on 22nd of july 1947 and then it was adopted by parliament of india or of course on August uh, 26th of January 1950. Tricolor refers to the flag of India. Now one important point to note about Constitutional Assembly, that Constitutional Assembly had two works. The first was to frame the Constitution of India and the second was, was, the second was to work as the inter, the, 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 the uh, work as the parliament of India as well. It also worked as legislature. How? Uh, the, the constituent assembly had two tasks at its hand. 
the first one it regularly met to make laws for the governance of the country secondly it met on special occasions to discuss the draft of the constitution that means constitution making and governance the legislature the parliament right now that building was used by constitutional assembly constituent assembly and uh, pe the, con the people in the constituent assembly met regularly met as a legislative body also they legislated as well it that means it worked as intermediate parliament as well or le legislature as well okay the flag was designed by pingali venkaiya if we look at the evolution of the flag this was the first flag first indian flag actually this was hosted in calcutta in 1908 or 1906 okay it had this lotus on the top this moon and sun on the bottom and vande matram was written in the mid then in 1907 madam bhika ji kama hosted this flag okay uh, uh, in the stuttgart socialist conference in germany okay and this flag was i i hope you understood this how how this flag looks and then in 1917 the home rule league of any basent and tilak came up with a new flag right that flag had the union jack and these stars seven stars okay these seven stars are constellation saptarishi okay then in 1921 mahatma gandhi started promoting this charkha as uh, the 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 basic symbol of our swaraj theek hai to in 1921 congress adopted this flag then in 1931 the very important session karachi session the congress adopted this as its flag and passed a resolution to its effect and now charkha was properly aligned in the white stripe then thereafter in 1947 we came up with this final flag designed by pingali venkaiya and the charkha was replaced by ashok chakra okay so i hope you understood the evolution of indian national flag the background flag code of india took effect on january 26 2022 that is on the republic day in 2002 it is a set of instructions now the very first question that we started with was is flag code a law under article 13 now point to say that it is a set of instructions issued by ministry of home affairs regarding the hoisting of national flag in navin jindal versus union of india 2004 uh, mp high court opined that the uh, flag code is not a law under article 13 is not a law under article 13 okay the flag code is not a law under article 13 because it has not been legislated by parliament itself rather it is an executive direction it is an executive direction executive direction means direction issued by government okay but directions issued by government do not have the effect of law okay unless and until they are issued under some act they are issued under some act like uh, pmla act came in 2002 the pmla act is a law it has been duly enacted by parliament of india then under the framework of that law under the framework of that law the rules came in 2005 now these rules are also law these rules also have the power of law because they have been enacted within the framework or the delegative power given by that law to the government delegation of power understood so that will be law those rules will have the effect of law but the flag code is directly issued by ministry of home affairs it is it is a compendium or collection of what should be followed what what should be followed uh, what should be the standard procedure for treatment of the national flag now clause 2.1 says that it basically acknowledges the right of every citizen of india to host flag okay not only private citizens but organizations and educational institutions hospitals also all these everyone can host a flag national flag given that they do not insult the flag and they are within the premises of 
emblems and names act prevention and uh, prevention and misuse act 1950 and prevention of the prevention of the insults to national honor act 1971 <clears throat> now emblems and names prevention and misuse act under this act the national flag has de been designated as an emblem okay national flag has been designated as an emblem <clears throat> now the flag should not be used for commercial purposes any emblem of government of india cannot be used for commercial purposes without taking the prior permission of the government and the flag cannot be hosted at night this is what the flag code of 2002 said this is what the flag code of 2002 said it was also mentioned in the prevention of insults to national honor act 2002 okay uh, no sorry 1971 now what are laws regarding to a flag flag cannot be dipped in salute or flown past half mast or used as used to wrap anything except on state funerals that means one cannot use flag to wrap food okay um, one can use flag to wrap a dead body but that dead body should only be someone who who is being provided with a state funeral or the military or paramilitary forces okay only these people have the right to be wrapped into the tiranga now it cannot be dipped in salute dipped in salute means the flag flag should always flay flow like this it cannot be dipped like this okay okay the flag cannot be flown below any other flag in its proximity okay if there is flag of india so any other flag cannot be flown such that the flag of india is at a lower level that means flag of india occupies a position of honor acts of dishonoring the flag by defacing it disfiguring it trampling upon it destroying will invite a prison sentence up to three years okay with the fine both can also be given putting any kind of inscription writing upon the flag using it to cover the monuments or platform and embroidering or printing on it Printing it on handkerchiefs, napkins, any dress material is not allowed. Okay. Moreover, the flag should not be allowed to touch the ground or water. It should always be, it cannot be put in inverted manner also. Matlab, the saffron stripe should always be on the top. It cannot be inverted. And any tricolor which is damaged should be destroyed in private. Okay. Preferably by burning it. Inconsistent with the dignity of the flag so these are basic uh, do's and don'ts that one should ha have the basic understanding of about the flag now what have been the recent changes that have been brought into the flag code flag code 2002 was amended in 2021 to allow machine made flags and also polyester made polyester made flags okay so what and this was this was this move was actually uh, opposed a lot by the khadi gramodyog uh, the KVIC and the Khadi, uh, the Khadi people who are conventionally making this flag, okay, they opposed this because it, it, they, they believed it was a threat to their livelihood. Now the national flag should be made of what are the materials that are allowed? Hand spun, hand woven or machine made cotton, polyester, wool, silk, Khadi, bunting as per the amended flag code. Okay, now that means we can make flag out, flag out of Khadi cotton polyester wool silk and all these materials on july 20 2022 the center amended flag code of india allowing the national flag to be flown both in day and at the night usual prior to this the law was that flag cannot be flown between sunset and the dawn that means that at night it cannot be flown that is why uh, there is a beating retreat ceremony and the flag is taken down at night okay um, beating retreat is a very like specific ceremony being conducted on uh, after 26th of january but wherever flag is flown it is taken down before the sunset now the government is allowed to fly it in the night as well okay earlier the tri color could be only hoisted in the day so i hope you understood this uh, these important changes that we have uh, observed okay so if there are any there are any questions regarding the flag code now very important point that was ki flag code is not a law under article 13 okay 
understood and right to host flag uh, has been granted to every citizen everyone can host a flag in his own premises given that they do not violate the insults to national honor act 1971 and emblems act 1950 understood that is all for the flag code